Hi, my name is Deborah Hess. I'm with the Colorado Cancer Coalition Skin Cancer Task Force. When I was young, in the 60s and 70s, I used to lay out with baby oil and iodine on an aluminum foil blanket, and because of those bad choices, I've since had two basal cell carcinomas, two squamous cell carcinomas, and two melanomas. So I'm here today to help you avoid what I had to learn the hard way. I think one of the most exciting things is when I was on the Skin Cancer Task Force, we were presented with this map. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, I am making a poster because this is such an eye-catching fact. Obviously, in Colorado, we live in the red flame of the country. Uh, there's not much atmosphere between us and the sun. So Colorado has the highest UV index, and it also has the highest skin cancer rate in the country. So just living here where the sun shines 350 days a year puts us at risk because of our sun exposure. This, I think, is very interesting. Even one blistering sunburn can double your risk of melanoma. So I've had probably 30 or 40 blistering sunburns. And the other interesting fact is 80% of lifetime sun damage occurs in childhood. So when I was diagnosed, my first melanoma in 1999, I was 39 years old, and it scared me. My children were young and I wanted to live to raise my children, so I drastically changed my lifestyle. I loved laying out in the sun, and it was very hard for me to give that up. But I did change my lifestyle. I stopped laying out. Um, I started working at a cancer center, also changed my lifestyle as far as my food. I quit eating high fructose corn syrup and white foods because I wanted to give my cells everything they needed to override the cancer. My body has the recipe now to make skin cancer, so I wanted to give it the tools that my skin needs to be healthy and to not do another skin cancer. So even though I drastically changed my lifestyle, 20 years later, I got a second melanoma. And so even though I've changed my life, it's because of what I did when I was in my teens and my 20s, that damage is there. I cannot undo it, but what I can do is keep it from getting any worse. And so that's what I'm wanting to share with you as well is that keep it from getting any worse. And so childhood, we're not even thinking about it. Kids are running around and getting sunburns and that is permanently in your dermis. When I had my second squamous cell and my dermatologist was sewing my chest back together, I started crying and I told him that I feel like the sun is trying to kill me. And I've done everything that I could. I've changed my behaviors. I don't go out in the sun. I wear my hat. I do everything that I should do to protect my skin. And I'm still getting melanoma and squamous cell. And he told me that even if you moved into a cave and never saw the sun again, that I will still get skin cancers because of 80% of lifetime sun damage occurs in childhood. So what I've done is done. And even if I never get in the sun again, I'm gonna to continue to get them. But because I have a full body inspection every six months because of my history, he said, when you do, we will always catch it early. And so they will be removed early. So skin cancer is never going to have a chance to develop enough to where it's going to kill you. Also, if I go back to my old lifestyle and start laying out in the sun and doing all the things that I used to do, he said, you'll probably get 10 times as many. So keep up what I'm doing. I am keeping uh, more damage away, but I'm still going to continue to get because of the damage I did when I was young and didn't know any better. Also, the risk of developing melanoma rises 70% 5% if you start indoor tanning before 30. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of false advertising about tanning booths tell you that tanning bulbs have changed, they've gotten better, and so it's a safe place to get a tan. And that is a lie. Anything that turns your skin brown is a carcinogen. So the sun is a carcinogen. Tanning bulbs are a carcinogen. At one of my um, educational events, I had a 16-year-old girl. Um, she was a senior in high school, and she went to tanning beds because that was where she could get a safe tan. She has a melanoma at 16, and it's like 
three inches long. It had pulled apart. It's like an inch wide in the middle of her chest. And when she was telling me this, she said, but I did the smart thing. I went to the tanning beds where I could get a safe tan. And so because of that misinformation, the 16 year old girl has melanoma, the worst skin cancer that there is. So it's all about education. I firmly believe that knowledge is power. And so I'm hoping you can take this knowledge and use it to your advantage.